Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can model in the fastest way possible a wooden bridge in Fusion 360. Without any other hesitation, let's get started. Before every single drawing, the units are very important, so in order to set them correctly, let's go here to document settings and let's change the units. Let's go here and for today's drawing, we will work in centimeters. So I will check centimeters, OK, and after that I will start to create a new component. New component and I will write here, why not, wooden bridge and then press enter. Today I will work with some parameters. So let's go to the modify tab and after that pick the change parameters feature. Through to this button I will add some parameters. I will call the first one thickness and the value will be 4 and then I'll press OK. The next one it will be step height and the value will be 1.5. Let's add now another two parameters, railing thickness and here will we have two and the last one railing height and this value will be free. Here I made a little mistake, I'll write H. Good, now we are ready to go. Let's start now to create a new sketch. So let's go to the create sketch, select this plan and I will construct now a circle but it will be a circle with a radius of 169 centimeters so in order to construct it correctly I will press the C letter, I will start from the middle and I'll write here 2 times 169 and then I'll press enter. Double click on the mouse wheel and now I need a parallel circle. To do this I'll go to the offset feature I will select the circle, I will go inside and I will write minus 8. Now I will construct a new line, so press the L letter or go to the symbol and I write 140 centimeters. And in order to be aligned with the interior circle, I will go to the coincident. After I pick this feature, I select this point and the interior circle. I will do the same in the other side as well. So I will pick the point and then the circle. And now, as you see, I have also this constraint that means that our line is parallel to the ground level. Let's construct now a new line. So press the L letter again and I will go up. But in this case, it doesn't matter too much the distance because it matters much more the angle. So now I'll press the tab key and I'll write here 70 degrees and then I'll press enter. To have the same line in the other direction as well, I will apply the mirror command, but I need another line. So I'll press again the L letter. I'll start from the middle. I created here a perpendicular line to the other one and now I will press the S key on the keyboard for shortcuts and I will write mirror and I will select the first one. I pick up this line, mirror line, this one it will be and then I'll press OK. Now I can delete that line too, pressing delete or backspace as well. Now I'll go to the trim command, so press the T letter or go to the symbol, delete this line, delete the next one, the next one and this one too. If you can imagine this one it will be one of those two wood elements from the base. And right now let's focus on the planks. In order to do that I'll create a new offset so select this arch, go to offset, go in this direction and let's write step height and then press enter. As you can see here now we have a function here of 1.5 so if I change my mind and I want thicker planks I can go every time here to modifiers I can change the parameters and all the design will be updated. After that I will construct here a new line just to close this gap or to fill this boundary. I'll press the L letter, I'll start from here and as you see now I already have another constraint, the constraint of parallel. And I'll press OK, trim now again this part and this little tiny part and I'll construct a point now. So I'll press again the S key and after that I'll write here point and I'll place a point on this arch. Now I will apply the sketch dimension feature which I have it here or I can press the D letter and between those two points I want to have a distance of 10 centimeters. I construct a new line here and for this time I'll go to the parallel constraint 
this one it will be the first and this one the second and now I can delete this part and this part of the arch too. In order to multiply this plank all the way up until we reach the other corner we will go to the create menu and after that circular pattern. Now we will select those three lines and after that the center point it will be the same center that I used to build the first circle so this one. When it comes to distribution, I'll go to partial, but I'll write here instead of 180 degrees, minus 47 degrees. And as you see, if I have only three planks, it will look like this. But I want the quantity to be changed into 14. And then I'll press OK. As you can see, it looks good and our sketch is done. So I'll press the finish sketch and I'll go here. Now let's start to extrude. The first one, it will be here. So press the E letter or go to the symbol and drag the arrow in the opposite direction or you can just write minus thickness for this time and then press OK. Now this is our first body. In order to use again our sketch I will go here at the explore part, sketches and I will make the sketch number one visible again. Extrude again but for this time we need to select every single profile. And after that, I'll go in the opposite direction with minus 60 centimeters. But here, keep it in mind that we don't want to join all the bodies. We want to be separate objects. So I will choose new body and then I'll press OK. I can make now the sketch one invisible and I want to duplicate or to copy this wooden element. In order to do that, I'll press the M key for the feature move copy. I select this body, I'll go here to free move, create copy, I check it, that option, and I'll drag it in the opposite direction with minus 56 centimeters, as you can see. Let's speak about the railing now. The easiest one to construct the railing is to construct a new sketch here on this surface. So right click and then go to the create sketch. Let's use also this boundary and for this I will press the P letter and I'll select this surface and then I'll press OK. As you can see, now I have all the boundaries that I need. First of all, I'll start with the railing posts. So I'll create a new line starting from the middle. I'll go up and I'll write here 36 centimeters and then I'll press. Now I need here two lines, two parallel lines actually, and I will use the offset command, of course. I'll drag in this direction and I will write thickness divided by two. The same thing I'll do it in the other direction as well. So minus thickness divided by two. And to close this boundary, again, another line starting from these two points. In the opposite direction, I'll do the same. Now to copy it in the other sides, I'll construct a new point. So I'll press the S key again, I'll write point and I'll select a point from here. Sketch dimension again or press the D letter. Between those two points, I want to have a distance of nine point five centimeters and right now I can go to the move copy command again select these four lines point to point create copy and the origin point it will be this one and the target point the newest point that I made and then I'll press OK now I can trim this part, so trim command, press the T letter and I want that top to be higher. So in order to do that, I'll select this line, I'll press the M key again and I'll drag it up with four centimeters. And in order to have the same figure in the other side as well, you guessed it, I'll use the mirror command. So I'll press the S key again for shortcuts, mirror, I will select those three lines, mirror line, it will be this one, the original one and then I'll press OK. And now I can select this line and I can easily delete it. I will offset now this edge. I select it, offset it, I'll drag in this direction and I'll write here 7 centimeters. Now as you can see if I want to make another offset to this one I cannot because this was already offset. So in order to do that I'll select this symbol, I will delete it with delete or backspace and now as you can see I am able to offset it and I will offset it with railing height. And I will repeat the same process. So I will delete that sign, I'll go to offset again, I'll write here 9 for this time, delete it again and offset it for one last time. Railing height and then press enter. In order to cut all these extra edges, I'll create a new line. So select that line, offset it, go in the opposite direction and write 3. The same thing I will do it here as well. 
so offset is minus 3 and now I can apply the trim feature so press the T letter again Okay, and you can also delete those two lines as well. Now our sketch is done, finish sketch and let's start to extrude. So select every single part of here. And now I'll go in this direction and I'll write thickness and then I'll press OK. But I'll go back because here instead of join I need to have new bodies. Now I'll make the sketch to visible again and I will start to extrude for another two times. So I press the E letter again, I select only those profiles that intersect the previous railing posts and I'll go inside and I'll write thickness, railing thickness and then enter. Here as you can see now I have a gap and I need to fill it up. So extrude again, select all of these profiles for this time, all the surfaces And I'll go inside with the same value, so railing thickness, but keep it in mind again, go to the new body. And to have one extra design detail, I'll create a sphere and I'll put it on the top of each post. In order to do that, I'll go to the create menu, I'll select sphere, I'll select a random plane, it doesn't matter, and I'll create a sphere with a diameter of 5 centimeters, and then I'll press OK. I'll go in the bodies, I'll select the last object, this is the body 22, this is the sphere, I'll press the M key, I'll go in the front plan, and I'll try to align it. Should look like this, let's change the plan, I'll go to the right, and it is just fine. And after that I'll press OK. Because I want to multiply it, but to put it exactly in the same spot for each post, I'll press the M letter again, I'll select the body number 22 and for this time I'll go to point to point. I'll check the create copy option, origin point it will be this edge and the target point it will be that one. And I'll press OK. The same thing, I'll repeat it again. So I selected the object, I press the M key, create copy, origin point, this one it will be and this one as well. And then I'll press OK. Now to have one single body instead of another three objects, I'll go to the combine feature and I will repeat it for three times. I will select the sphere and this posts. And as you can see, my last three objects are one single body. And to have the same thing in the other side as well, the best thing is to create a mirror plan and then to mirror everything here. So in order to have a perfect plan in the middle, I'll go to the Construct tab, Mid Plane, I'll select the surface, I'll select the other one, and as you can see, the plan is perfectly in the middle. And then I'll press OK. Now I'll go to the Mirror command, Mirror, I'll select all these bodies, mirror plan this one it will be and I'll press OK. Now I can make the plan invisible. And for one last detail I will add the material. In order to do that I'll press the A letter again from appearance and I'll write here wood. And for this project I want to apply the 3D cherry unfinished. And in order to set this material for all the bodies I'll select the first body, I will hold the shift key and then I will just drag this material in. As you can see, our wooden bridge is ready. I hope this video helped you learn more about the program and don't hesitate to collaborate with me. Any service is just a click away and if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.